Well, hello there, humans, hippies, earthlings, whoever you are, wherever you are, whatever you're doing, if you're lucky enough indeed to be doing it too. Welcome back to the channel, I'm Bushka, and today I'm going to have a little chat to you about what the hell's been going on lately. And I'm going to show you some of the things that I still love about Blitz. Uh, obviously, unless you've been living under a rock, there's been a little bit of controversy of late. Um, we've had my good mate Rolling Storm has valeted the Blitz. Uh, he's off. He's had enough of the crap. Uh, <laughs> because he's not happy with the direction that Wargaming has taken with the game and the fact that, well, I don't want to put words in his mouth. If you want to know what he's done, he's put plenty of messages out there. But I understand and sympathize with the way he's feeling because I've been getting super frustrated. I've been playing, but then I've also just been stopping playing in the middle of a session because I can't deal with the crap. And it's been based around this shit, basically. And I don't want to keep making videos about how much ATGM suck the life out of the game because they do. And they're a horrible thing. And they stopped me from playing Tier X. Like, this is from the same session. Like, after this one, where I got behind safety to every other single tank in the game apart from two of them and then died in clutch situations like that. It's just... It made me want to bite through my iPad. And so I stopped playing or stopped making videos. I didn't stop playing for a, a, a week or two because honestly, I mean, I was having a great time. The mouse, look at this thing with nearly 3,200 hit points, just driving it down the middle of the map and saying, that's great, fine guys, you know, take take 1,400, see, see how you go. I'm just going to drive down here and basically terrorize this poor waffle tractor and then come back and win the game. And I've been enjoying this part of the gameplay. I've been enjoying this part of Blitz. It's just the ATGMs that have really broken my heart. I think they're horrible. And I think that they ruin the gameplay. And I think they're a reason why a lot of the players that have been playing a long time have stopped playing Tier 10. And that's what's really bugged me most of all. Because I love Tier 10 mediums the most. And they're the tanks I feel like cop a lot of the stick from ATGMs. But instead of giving up, I'm just going to play. And I'm just going to show you gameplay and talk to you and have a good time. And it might mean that we make less videos because if I get triggered and I make less videos, then I get triggered and I make less videos. But for what it's worth, we're just going to take what's available and what's on offer. And if you wanted to let Wargaming know how much you dislike some of the balance changes, you go for your life. Let them know. But I'm not going to make up my crusade. I want to keep enjoying the game. And I want to keep making videos about the parts of the game that I enjoy. Namely, things like this, where I'm stuck with a whole buttload of red tanks in front of me and I've got to outthink the humans down there so that I can make a little bit of love. And I'm in an FV4202, not the most remarkably well-armored tank. So this is the kind of gameplay that I enjoy, uh, having to track multiple tanks and look at where your teammates are and set yourselves up so you can still be effective and be a little bit patient and work through the problems and uh, and come out on top. And this is absolutely a great game for me because I really enjoyed this game, just setting everything up, knowing that there was a tank in spawn somewhere that was still had shots at me, knowing that there was guys on top of me and just slowly grinding away and taking my time. And I still got 2K damage in the first two and a bit minutes. And I'm like, meh, there's some... There's some chicken left on this bone. I'm going to see if we can't do something. And that E75 has just been a little bit too aggressive. And now the IS-7 wants to get shots at me. And I'm just going to make sure that he doesn't get any easy ones. And whoa, get forward. Yeah, that's right. Worst gun in tier 10, that thing. <laughs> the IS-7's gun is heartbreaking. And I know that if he's uh, not directly in front of me and I can see the top of his helmet... Happy day, he's gonna keep doming that that big turret. Didn't mean to call it a helmet, thanks very much. And suddenly we're at 3,600. Uh, hello, STB. Discretion, definitely the better part of Valor here. Not interested, and then I'm just gonna play the angles here. Here we go. I'm gonna keep this guy spotted so everyone below me gets a free shot at him when he goes a little bit too far forward. And there's my ho-re, my ho-ho. We're working away. I love this about Blitz. This is one of the things that really gets me. If I had a, a choice in the direction of Blitz, it wouldn't be more ATGMs and things like that. It would be 
maybe another three tanks in game. Um, I would love to see a map that had more tanks on it. Even in this small arena, I think it could handle it. And I'd love to see a, you know, a 10 v 10 matchup, 20 people in the same game, same matchmaking rules, same everything. Uh, it would be pretty freaking phenomenal. And as games go, like that was fun. 4,500 damage, a whole lot of good loving, uh, and a tactical, a tactical victory. I'm going to show you one more game, uh, and this was, uh, this was like over. What? What? What are you talking about? Where did that go? Thanks very much, you grubs. Uh, not a mastery either, that one. And I thought that was a bit rough. Uh, 4,700 from the front there in FA4202, spotting everyone and uh, doing the business. But anyway, look at this. This is the Panther. This is this is a tier I've been playing a lot. I've been playing a lot of odd tier 7 tanks because basically I'm not playing tier 9 and 10. And uh, then tier 8, you go and play tier 8 and you get 25 T92E1, so you go and play tier 7. Well, you know you're safe from the vagaries of missiles. And this is, I'm just being honest. I'm not carrying on like a pork chop. That's why I'm playing tier 7 more. Look at my team. We have two lights and a medium. And the AMX 1375 couldn't get further back if he'd uninstalled Water Tank Splits from his iPad Android device. I'm like, I'm just going to shoot this dude because you're a grub. And then I'm going to hide behind you. And I'm going to make use of your hit point pool with my huge big long gun. So there he is, and voila, there's an IS-6 loitering around here as well. I'm thinking, maybe we could make a little bit of something happen over here on the edge of the map. I also want you to keep an eye on my ping, which is absolutely crazy right now. Uh, everyone's using the internet, and it's just terrible. And there's the tank we'd really love to get rid of. And I'm like, I don't feel bad about taking the hit point pool of that AMX 1375 and using it to my advantage, because dead set, he was farming back at spawn. And here comes the big bopper. <laughs> it's like, yeah, come on, in you come, in you come, in you come. And IS-6, if you could just uh, enter from stage left, that'd be great. We've got plenty of tanks around us here now. Uh, 1375, no, bugger off. I mean, I don't even feel bad about using this guy's hit point pool. Honestly, he could have done what a light tank does and got out the front. If he's going to hang at the back, I'm very comfortable with him being at the back and... I could be even a little bit further back. So we're at 962 damage, and we've lured them into our spawn trap, basically. And now they're coming up against the best heavy we've got on our team. And the IS-6 is like, well, the only heavy we've got on our team. And the IS-6 is just edging forward as I, uh, I make the most of his hit points and armor to farm up a little bit of Pantera. New beauty. Uh, bad luck for this, amigo, as we tap, tap, tap a -roo our way to victory. This is a low damage game, but this is... I, I saved this video. I was like, this is this is what you should do with these grubs that just sit in spawn and do nothing. Turn them into... Uh, turn them into meat shields. Everyone needs a meat shield. Uh, me, more so than most. Three on three. I really thought this was going to be a loss when the whole thing started. Everyone was zooming around in spawn. No one was really getting out the map apart from the right side. I'm like this is a loss. This is a this is a surefire loss. Let's see what we can get out of it. And uh, it's turned out to be a, a pretty fun, loving game. Just snap one off. Don't get it. Uh, oh, oh, oh! Watch out! Watch out! Watch out! Can we get that gun down? We certainly can. Yeah, one more, one more. Boom! The Panther. Yes, that's right. The Panther is plenty accurate with plenty of penetration under the bonnet. And uh, we're making this one look pretty easy. Uh, still got half our hit point pool. Two tanks left. I don't know if the other TD is rotated. Oh, watch out. Okay, if I stay very, very still, maybe I'll reset camo. There you go. Surely you can't see me. I've been perfectly still. Oh, hang on. I'm in a Panther. The Panther is the size of a like small terrestrial uh body it is absolutely crazy how big this thing is it's got all the pies and it's eaten a lot we don't have a lot of hit points left two bad tanks to come what are we gonna do well let's just hit some clutch shots baby 
They're close to victory. We're closer. They got to come in. Maybe we can just snap one. Oh, snappy, snappy. 200 max rolling for RNG. Jesus. Another one. Yes. Oh, how quick's your reload? I've only got 160 alphas. Surely it's not as quick as that. Oh, Battle Maiden goes down to the Chai Re. Oh, love it. The Cheeto. Great game. Lots of fun. Uh, Tier 7 Panther. Look after yourselves. Stick around. There'll be plenty more coming down the pike. And as always, stay safe on the battlefield. Bye for now.